for Petkovic. It's fallen to Dexter. Cut back. Stopped by the Washington defense. Ostrom. Ostrom continuing his run from his left back position into the middle. Thread goal. Tevez at the edge of the box. 2014. He was a five time ACC coach of the year for the Demon Deacons. Two time Nash. Niffelson looking for Jackson. Left the ball behind him and Ostrom takes it away. Ostrom now going over the top. Looking towards Miglietti. Fullbacks working in tandem. On that right side, now Ostrom trying to go over the top. Over to Walty. Ostrom takes it away. Advantage being played. Ostrom. Tevez. Liffelson. Ostrom. As junior midfielder from Marshall, who scored the winning penalty to upset Clemson. As Ostrom's corner kick to the near post his fifth college cup as they look to see this out Meek is trying to shake off Miglietti now Mort up against Ostrom the Pac-12 defensive player of the year so is Costa Rienzi who just beats Dexter to the ball now Ostrom finds Tevez Tevez bench for the Bears Played some late game magic, scoring both the equalizer in the 86. Ostrom. Ostrom trying to curl one towards the far post. Doesn't ball by Denton. And Ostrom picks up the loose change. Followed by Dalling to the corner. Yari. We're all named to the first team. Michael Creek. Greg Stratton, Connor Langan, and Jack Denton, who was just booked for that last challenge, were named to the second team. And Adrian Barosin, Meek, shakes off Bruseth. Lucas Meek finds Ostrom. Ostrom's cross goes through a pass the ball for the Huskies. Gets it to Ostrom. Ostrom trying to shake off Stratton. Cross into the box. Header is just missed by covering against Kosu Rienzi. And now Ostrom's on the ball, maybe looking to start a counterattack, but he needs support. Threadgold evades trouble. Gabe Threadgold has Charlie Ostrom in support as well. Ostrom's long ball into the box. Set up by Tsuris, who takes it. They leave it into the 18 and headed into the back of the net. What a service by or Emerson. Well, and one of those guys that Emerson stole some time in training from is actually on the Washington bench. The assistant coach for Jamie Clark, Jeff Rowland, uh, recalls times in training where he would lose uh, his spot to... ...experiences prior to arriving at UW, called up to the U.S. U-17 National... Sixty-sixth minute of action now. Big opportunity for the Huskies. Ostrom. Oh, great clearance. Second opportunity into the grasp of Sam Fowler. It's been a quiet day for Fowler. And any head coach in the country likes when the bouncing throw keeps it on the ground. Keeping it in bounds. In Ostrom's direction. Now the Gostinelli closing in on him. Switching. That would have been a tough pass for him to make no matter when he tried to tried to get it off. That one might have been on frame. And another Husky goal coming off the corner kick. And it... So now Charlie Os Ostrom sends one in. Looking for Scardina. And that one is in. Justin Garces, sophomore. And Ostrom adds to his Pac-12 leading total in assists. That is beautiful.
impossible for Garces to get to this one. Cleared for the moment, now back. And always dangerous with Ostrom. He serves it in, into the middle, but no runner there. A couple of purpose time, Garces there to punch it away. That's served again by Ostrom. A dangerous ball right in front of the net, and Garces punching that one away. These two teams met last month, and it was a one nothing lead for the Huskies for most of that game. This one, dangerous opportunity, and there is your firm. He's been very impressed with the redshirt freshman. And this Cal Bear program continually pushes guys from the back line. Goalkeepers into the pro 19. And then these Cal Bears are unbeaten over their last four. Armin Samini into the game for the Cal Bears. Goes from there to chances in this one, but have, besides that PK, they have not been able to connect. This one served into Meeks, and there you go! Lucas it away. Hot shot there off the post. As ball at his foot, takes to the center of the field, pushes it out wide, right at the edge of the six. They lost their first three games against top 10 opponents. They have come on strong, now unbeaten over their last four, but to get into the tournament, he said, Good footwork by Dylan Tevis as he looks for a crease in that defense. Oh, nice heel. And that attempt. Huskies in position to move up in the rankings with a win today, and the shot blocked by... Far post. Look at that. What a beautiful follow. Sailor in the right. 88, 89 minutes plus. Think about that. Another three guys playing 70 minutes. Great step there. Love the tennis misplayed. Ryan Crowley couldn't connect cleanly on that attempt, but a great tackle. Two of them by Ostrom. Ostrom gets right back up and pries the ball away. Two tremendous defensive plays. Here's Ostrom on the run now. Inside the box, double team. Tried to turn it toward a clean tackle made by the Husky defense. And Siegel, a bit gimpy as he walks back upfield. Went down hard. Meek, Ostrom. Ostrom trying to fend off a Cardinal defender. He can't do it. Out to Zach Ryan. Ryan rolls it for Richmond. Richmond able to scan the field. Ostrom charging back on defense. He gets pushed off. Now Ostrom gets it past Ryan. Ostrom. He's been the energizer bunny today, nonstop. Ostrom's been playing both ends. Trying to chip it past a defender. Over for Grimsby. A cross coming in. Tevez rolls it and scores! Appeared in every game for the Huskies this season, getting his first start of the year tonight for the senior. Lucas Meek has it here. Goes wide to Charlie Ostrom. Ostrom, low ball there, bouncing in, comes off Asamin, and it's headed in! A mistake at the back and an early lead for the hosts. Really dominated the midfield, so Soto had a tough day. But, you know, I did want to point out Threadgold, smart play. He, uh, you know, <clears throat> took the ball up and he was one on five and he waited for his support. 
and it ended up with a with a good scoring opportunity on the part of the Huskies. He didn't, so that's pretty cute. Ostrom strikes it low. Kasim, the diving stop at the left post. Still in here for Tevez. Long ball over the top. Well, that's the other question for you, Jim. I've tapped on your experience in a situation like this as a coach, but what about as a referee? Because this was kind of a chippy game toward the end of the first half there. As it's another great sliding challenge from Tesler to concede a player from Bakersfield, California, but a former member of the Seattle Sounders Academy who's actually spent time in the USL Championship with Tacoma Defiance. That's something that several players on this Huskies roster have done as well. And this is Ostrom slicing inside. Scardina tips it wide for Kyber. Sailor. Ostrom. The big switch. Sent downfield by Castro. Meek wins the header in the air. Hankins sends it back toward Charlie Ostrom. Ostrom curls that ball forward to Meek. Tevin Rue. Crowley. Kelowna. Soto. And Ostrom. Ostrom's cross. Looking for Scardina. Well, that last touch. And Castro off his line quickly to pick it up. Right. I mean, it is really unusual to see a player be able to skim two or three defenders in the middle of the field, still make it through, and, and get a one-on-one -on -one to goalkeeping. So that tells you how good he is. Um, and somebody knocked away from the winner. Sailor. It's Meek. And Meek fighting off Vialadea. Ostrom. Kept that ball in play. Ostrom's low cross. Falls to Cosa Rienzi. Boy, some uh, some blue on blue fire there from Burks into the stomach of Ryan Crowley, who's carrying on here, Jim. But I can't think of a man on this pitch I'd like to take a close range uh, clearance from. Less tucked away. Crowley lays off for Soto. Meek trying to tee up the bicycle. And a booming collision inside the area. It rattles around, and it's gone in! They need to make sure that they have players at the top of the box. Skipped on! It's gone in! Ostrom's trying to dribble free, but it's another turnover. Fight in the corner for possession. And Ostrom wins the battle. Ball's behind Miglietti. Checks it right back to him. Gone ahead for Meek here. Meek trying to pick out Scar. TM has a chance to get to this ball. He does. His cross comes behind Amanda. Oh, Jim, that might have been the moment for the Beavers so far here in these first holes. Master. Molitor. Looking for the ball into the alleyway. Ostrom interposes himself. Head toward Miglietti. Back heel, back in. And Scardina moving through, screaming for the ball. Now it comes his way. He's on side, but the ball gets beyond him. Hafferty, turned wide by Moliner. Nicked away from Joel Walker, but out for the throw. Hinton. It's been instructed to wait for the whistle. There it is. Driven ball to the back post. And boy, that ball just to Hafferty. Walker is there. So is Charlie Ostrom. He wins out. He's got Ostrom racing ahead up the left side. Sends it out wide for him. Ostrom cuts it back nicely there. Slips it back inside. Tevez fires, and it's blocked by a charging Fernandez. 